Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel Farmer Drone. In today's video, I've caught up to Rats Custom Farming Limited located just south of Ottawa. They've got a lot of big equipment on site to pump out this earth lagoon. The application of the manure on the fields is different from my previous videos where I was showing dragline irrigation. This setup will actually spray the liquid manure onto the fields. So stick around, it's going to be a great show. First thing I'm going to check out is what's called the crawler. This is the machine that agitates the bottom of the lagoon. Good day, young fella. And we'll say hello to the operator and check out the function of his job. My apologies for the quality of the audio while speaking to the operator. The crawler machine was putting out a substantial amount of noise and I had to doctor the video the best I could to get the audio. Just uh, running the, the crawling machine with the remote control. It's uh, to mix the bottom of the sand and uh, brings it up so it agitates it back to uh, with the with the manure. And how long would you agitate for a pond this size? It depends on what we're doing. Because the tankers are running, if we're running crawler, normally they start about three, four hours before with the drag line. So that's like a continuous flow. So they take out a lot more on a constant, but with the tanks, the, the, the run time, we're still going to get back to So two hours before normally, I can go up after that. The first equipment we see on site is a New Holland T8 tractor, model 330, putting out 284 horsepower. It's backing in the Noon 12 inch lagoon pump. This is a perfect combination for the application because the Noon 12 inch pipe will put out the maximum 12,000 gallons per minute if driven by 285 horsepower. The crawler has multiple jet nozzles controlled by the operator and continuously blasts the bottom of the lagoon, lifting the solids off the bottom. Next, a 12 inch hose is connected from the manure pump to the elevator. Alright, we're all set to go. There are two fields to spread the manure on today and both are in opposite directions. Towing the manure to the fields today are a beautiful pair of Klaus Zerion 4500 tractors. These 490 horsepower tractors are 2019 models. Fuel capacity is 930 liters. Manure tankers used today are manufactured by noon and are 17,000 gallon capacities. These units are known as quad trains with electro steer. Each of the tanks has power steering in the front and rear wheels, making backup much easier for the operator. You can see there's a 14 inch hose between the front and the rear tank. The line loading the tankers is a 12 inch. So this 14 inch hose allows for even filling in the front and the rear tank. You can see the four wheel drive steering activated in this shot.
It only took a couple minutes to fill both these tanks to the top. Everything about this application is controlled by the operator in the cab. The swath width and the application rate are operator controlled. This particular application was 3,600 gallons per minute. So these twin tanks were emptied in about four and a half minutes. The combination of application width and the speed of the tractor allowed a coverage rate of one acre per minute. Soil compaction by heavy farm equipment has always been an issue down on the farm. This noon twin tanker system is equipped with the Acrobrink tire deflation system. This allows the tire pressure to be controlled by the operator in the tractor. While driving on the fields during application, tire pressure in the tanks is dropped to 10 psi. This only takes the operator a couple minutes. Once emptied and back on the road, the tires can be reinflated to 18 psi. If you ever want to meet a nice bunch of people, just meet a farmer. Each one of these tractors and tank systems will run you over $1.3 million. With three tractors on the job today, the crawler and two sets of tankers. Again, you have to appreciate the high cost of farming.
Well, let's go check out that field to the right and see where this tanker is going. What you don't see in this part of this video is the impatient car driver who thought he should try to pass this tractor when the tractor was making a left hand turn. As the operator said, I'm driving 170 tons of farm equipment. I can't stop on a dime. So please give these guys all the respect when you see them on the road. Four and a half minutes after arriving here, it's time to go back for another load. And now it's time to work the nitrogen into the ground. And one more great completed job by the boys at Rats Custom Farming. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up are always appreciated and don't forget to write, I like to respond. May the sun always shine on your crops.